it's not gonna be easy. I've been on this adventure. Ow. Otherwise, I'm gonna get really hungry and getting down in the dumps a little bit. My wire vine that I had tied to my trap came loose and now it's out in the water. If you do get burning or tingling, it's probably not the something you should put inside your mind. Less fun part of the 24 hour island survival. Welcome back to Sailing GBU. This week we're switching things up. We have a big challenge ahead and Matt is going to be put to the test. For 24 hours, he'll be sent to a deserted island in the intense heat of the Caribbean. He will need to survive without food or water. The one thing he will get is a Jackery 3000 Pro. During the challenge, he'll be offered three different packages that will include items he can use with the Jackery to help him survive. So this is going to be a really big challenge for me, but I'm excited to take it on because I'm going to have my Jackery Explorer 3000 Pro and that's going to allow me and give me some wiggle room to do this challenge in a much different way than I would normally have to. So what the Jackery comes with is a portable power station, all of the adapter cords that you would need to make it work, and two 200 watt solar panels as well as adapter cords for that. So it comes with everything you need to be out there, off grid, solo dolo, you don't need nothing. It comes with everything you need. That's one thing I really like about the Jackery is it's just the plug and play. You grab it, you take it out the box and it's ready to go. And what's gonna make it great for this challenge is that it's very lightweight, it's under 70 pounds, it's going to be able to charge really quickly outside. It charges in three to four hours with the solar panels. I could plug it into the wall here at the boat and it would charge in 2.4 hours with the wall plug. We all know I'm going to be carting this thing out and about to the island in my dinghy. So it's great that it's compact and portable. It's going to be really, really easy to transport it. So that's going to be a definite plus for me. It can power 3000 watts and it has 3024 watt hours. So you can run some pretty big things off of it and you can run them for quite some time as well. So there's gonna be no worries about how long it's gonna last, if I'm gonna have enough power to complete this challenge, or if I'm gonna have you know a length of time enough of power coverage to be able to complete the challenge as well comfortably and survive this 24 hours. I'm a little nervous for this challenge, but I still think I'm gonna succeed. I think I'm gonna just more than survive. I'm gonna thrive because I'm not just a natural survivor. I'm a natural thriver also. So I think everything's gonna be five star here and it's gonna all be like a very pleasurable experience. Be surviving on is 300 yards in diameter. This is not an easy white sand beach. This island is made up of a rocky coast and cliffs up to 70 feet. Now that I'm actually up on the island, it looks really good from afar, but now that I'm here, I see that it's going to be a little bit less forgiving. It's a big rocky coastline. It's not like nice soft sand. It's a bunch of crazy cactuses and thorn bushes, so navigating could be a problem on here. Hopefully though, it gives me something to work with. I gotta build a shelter first things first, so hopefully everything comes out good for me. So right now, I'm just trying to figure out, get the lay of the land, looking for a spot to build my camp. I kind of want a good spot, ow spikes ah good lord ow looking for a good spot with good airflow something that's hopefully not too many bugs and has some building resources nearby so i'm just on the journey looking for that now
found a nice spot that I think might be suitable here. There's kind of soft grass, it's pretty flat. It's got a nice breeze coming in and it's got these little roots that I believe I could use to tie things up when I start building. But I don't wanna make the mistake of just coming to the first spot that I find and just rip it there and then later find a spot that may have worked a little bit better. I don't wanna rush it and just stick with the first spot that I find when there might be something better. heat coming, Matt needs to gather his supplies quickly to build his shelter for the night. It's not going to be easy. I've been on this adventure, but I can see that the island is gonna provide for a shelter, but I adventured a little longer than I needed to and I need to get my jackery set up so that I can start getting those amps built up because I can see that building is gonna be a bigger project than I originally thought and I'm definitely gonna need that help. I gotta get my jackery set up. I know it charges fast with the solar panels. They're 200 watts each, I believe. So they're gonna charge fast no matter what I do. But I think if I set them down in the rocks, the rocks are kind of darker. Um, and when I was walking on them earlier and touching them, I felt that they were hot. So I know they're attracting a lot of sunlight. I think if I put my solar panels there, it's gonna charge up extra fast. It's gonna charge up my jackery power station pretty quick. And then I'm gonna be good to go on that. It's time for your first survival package. The name of this package is Chopped or Screwed. Both of these items are gonna help you build your shelter. I'll give you a few minutes to decide. So I got a pretty big decision to make over here. I know my host, that lovely lady, she didn't tell me what I could get. She just named them and I know she's got a sense of humor. So she said they're both gonna help me build the shelter. So she's got chopped and screwed. I know she ain't trying to make this easy on me. I definitely don't want to get screwed over on this island. I've been feeling that way already with termites and ants and spiders crawling all over me. So I think I'm going to go with the chopped. Um, hopefully it's some sort of cutting apparatus. To, I think that that's going to help me a lot in my building. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. If Matt chooses the chopped package, he will receive a saw and an extension cord. If he chooses the screwed package, he will receive an electric drill and some screws. All right, Kristen, after much deliberation with myself, I've decided to go with Chopped. I'm super hyped to have gotten my Chopped package. It's gonna help me out a lot because my pieces of wood that I found are definitely not cut to length and they'd be really difficult to build with those big awkward shapes. So what I got here is like an industrial level uh, Sawzall. And normally with any sort of portable power station, I'd be a little bit worried like, oh, how much can I use it? But I know with the Jackery 3000, it pr could probably run this thing for just about the rest of my life if I had to, especially when the sun's up. So I'm gonna get this bad boy plugged in and start ripping.
Solar panels have been ripping it. Jackery is fully charged up all the way to 100, so we're ready to go. So I'm only gonna be here for 24 hours, so I'm going with somewhat of a simple shelter here. I'm gonna go with just like a lean-to, big enough for me to sit up in, but just big enough to block the rain if it does start to rain and give me some airflow and some protection from the sun. And uh, so yeah, I'm going with a simple design and I think it's gonna serve me well. Yeah, I've never seen a survival shelter with a sunroof like that before. Obviously, I have some more uh, ways to go on this, but um, I've been burning some calories, lugging all this stuff around. So the next thing on my agenda is to is try to get a food plan going. I have a plan and I got to try to get that going so that I can let that be working for me while I finish up my house. I found a potential food source. Oh, it ain't too easy to get to. These rocks are slippery. Ugh. Okay, so I found these snails out here and I think that they may be edible. Um, definitely not my first choice. I think I have eaten them before like in a restaurant, but I don't have, whoa, oh Lord, oh Lord. I call them cockles. I don't really know what they're called, but they are snails. They're probably not as good as conch, and, uh, but I'm sure that they are edible. I'm not going to eat them right away. I think I can try to get a fish, um, which I would prefer, because I know a little bit more about that and I don't really want to poison myself. But I'm gonna gather these just the same and uh, just in case I can't find them later. These snails are West Indian whelks. They are known as a delicious fruit of the sea in the Caribbean. Some might even call them an aphrodisiac. All right, so I can see down in a couple of these little tide pools, there are also some sea urchins. I know that those are edible as well. Definitely not my first choice, but we have to start setting up contingencies at this point. Otherwise, I'm gonna get really hungry and grumpy. I can put some sort of rudimentary fish trap together. It might work well for me and I can use those other animals as bait instead of having to eat them, which I wouldn't be terribly excited to do. I made my fish trap. I would need some more hours. I only have 24 hours survival. I probably should have foraged more. I think I could eat those cactuses still, but it's gonna take time to get those spines off. I'm getting pretty hungry. It's like two in the afternoon. I'm not feeling great about my fish trap. I don't think that it's gonna do great for me just because I didn't spend enough time on it. I would need to spend probably another double amount of time 
to get the pieces smaller. And even then I'm still maybe not convinced. Maybe it would need to be a little bigger and a little bit longer. So I'm a little bummed, but luckily the Jackery came through for me and made it easy to build my house, cut things down. So that's the one thing that's been killing it. But you know, it's just been a long day with no food, and no water yet. So I'm kind of getting down in the dumps a little bit. The salivary glands of whelks may contain a poisonous matter called tetramine. Without removing the salivary glands before eating it, it may cause symptoms such as headache, dizziness, and feeling of seasickness. Well, they definitely eat. You can smell them when you crack them open. That thing stinks. Starting to agree with what I said earlier about not wanting these to be my main course. So now all I gotta do is get my fish strap loaded up, get all these nice guts all the way down to the bottom so the fish get trapped in my fish trap. If Matt doesn't eat something soon, he risks becoming dizzy or even passing out. Second survival package. This package is called fire or ice. I have to choose between fire and ice. For me, I've gotten enough fire all day from this burning, scalding sun. So, although a fire would be good for cooking if I do find anything to eat, but I think ice is gonna have something to do with something being colder, which is gonna help me out a lot mentally, psychologically spiritually and emotionally, I'm thinking my choice is made. If Matt chooses the fire package, he will receive an electric cooktop, a pan, and a bottle of water. If he chooses the ice package, he will receive an ice maker, soda, and water. Okay, so for this survival package, knowing what I know, knowing what I've been through so far today, I'm definitely going with the ice. so hyped. I knew that this cruel mistress of a game show leader wouldn't leave me fully out to, to die out here. I'm going to be able to make ice. I'll have ice here in about the next hour or so, which is going to help me in many ways. Um, I also got a lemon to help with my seafood, a little bottle of water, and a soda. So that's going to help. I'm going to get 160 calories no matter what, so that's going to be great, and that'll at least get me through the night. I went ahead and put my panels up on top of my shelter to serve dual purpose. Um, to give me a little bit more shade and then if it does rain they'll act as shingles it's going to give me that last little bit of sunlight as the sun's setting in the west today so it's going to pump up the jack and everything's going to be running perfectly through the night for me i couldn't be more excited about this package it might have saved my whole day i was turning into a grumpy gust there I'm gonna go check out my fish trap, I'm hoping that I have a good fish. It'd be really great if I did, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. My wire vine that I had tied to my trap came loose and now it's out in the water. So I'm gonna have to swim out there. So it doesn't make any sense because if I swim right by my trap, anything in it would just swim right out. I gotta find a long stick and see if I can fish it. There's no clams left. I ate all the gonads off of my urchin bait, so they had a pretty big time thanks to old Uncle Matty, but I didn't get any in my net. I think I'm gonna set it in the beach maybe. 
Maybe that'll help. I, I have no idea. We'll rebate it and we'll move forward. It has been a long day, Matt, but we are here with your final survival package. This package is called Netflix or Chill. So choose wisely. Hopefully this will make the rest of your night a little bit sweeter. I'll give you a few minutes to decide. We're winding down. This is gonna be my final package. I'm feeling real good with what the what was given to me all day with the Jackery. It's made this somewhat enjoyable. It's actually been pretty fun and it helped me out a lot. Let me do a whole lot in one day. So for the final, it's Netflix and chill. I don't think I needed any anything anything to chill with, so I'm gonna go with the Netflix. I, I want some entertainment if I'm gonna be out here all night. If Matt chooses the Netflix package, he'll receive a portable projector and his phone for entertainment. If he chooses the chill package, he'll get a fan, bug spray, and a sheet for comfort. So you boys been out here surviving all day. You were absolutely right. It has been a long one. I already got an ice box for the Netflix or chill. So I'm thinking I'm about as chill as I need to be. I'm definitely going for the Netflix. I need to pick me up. I'm going to watch all the survival shows on binge because my fish trap was lame. So I found myself an old can that I fashioned into a little cutter. Um, I'm going to cut the spikes off this. Most cactuses are edible. I'm going to make sure that this one is before I eat all of it as well. But with my fishing skills, it looks like I'm going to be having chilled cactus strips in the ice machine tonight for dinner. So I'd like to get a little something in me or I might pass out. Got my cactus, my snake cactus cleaned up. And upon further review, there's not much really to this thing because there's like a stick in the middle. So it's not gonna be a juicy succulent bell pepper. Uh, it's looking like it's gonna be an old beat down chicken bone by the time it's done. But it does smell good. I'm gonna rub it on my lips and then wait like an hour before I eat it to see if I get any sort of like burning or tingling. Um, if you do get burning or tingling, it's probably not the something you should put inside your body, so. So far, no burning. It has the texture kind of more like aloe, which I know you can eat, so we're gonna see. My solar panels have been killing it today. Uh, right now, even with the sun low, it's making more power than my ice maker is using, so that's awesome. I'm at like a positive ratio for electricity right now. And with this, I'm gonna be able to run my Netflix package, survival package tonight. I'm gonna have plenty of power. I could probably run that thing all night, which I'm hyped about because Kristen and I always have to worry about, this thing runs 10 amps. So we always have to worry at night. We can't start watching TV too early on this because we won't have enough power. But today with the Jackery tonight, I'm not gonna have to worry about that. I can run it all night long and have a slumber party if I want to. All right, have a good night. You're out of packages. I hope all of your choices make you happy. And I got my crispit stick here. I got no burning lips, I got no burning mouth, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this so I can get a little bit, a little bit of sustenance. It's got some fibers that come off the chicken wing that are pretty rough, but the flavor's all, all around not too bad though. My cactus wasn't filling whatsoever. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and as the sun is going down, I'm gonna have my sundowner, get my calories in, feel content, and then I'm just gonna woosah out, enjoy the sound of the waves hitting the rocks until the sun goes down and then I'm gonna party on some Netflix. And I'm pretty wore out, so maybe I just fall asleep pretty early, sleep through the night. A dove came up earlier and kind of scared me because I don't think he's used to having neighbors here and I certainly ain't used to being here. So we startled one another, but I didn't get it on tape. Hopefully no more critters come out. That would be the worst thing that could happen for me. But yeah, nice breeze, put the shelter in a nice spot. Everything's going good. I got my Jackery panel bags if I need to block the wind and you know,
know if I get too chilly tonight or I'll be sleeping under these things if it rains. So, so far everything's going good. Out there in the middle of BFE in the darkness. Whoa, whoa. But yeah, we're having fun out here. Jackery's killing it. I got my Netflix set up. I'm gonna chill out. I don't know if I'm gonna watch Matilda or Bench Warmers. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I'll definitely find something. I'm gonna be having a good time. I might not even get through a whole movie. I'm tired from today's work. Either way though, Jackery's still kicking it in the sticks. That thing's baller. And we're out here just having a good time. So here's the less fun part of the 24 hour island survival. It has begun to rain. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty big rain cloud from what I've seen from the uh, weather radar that I looked up. But luckily I got my, excuse me, it's like 3 a.m. Luckily I got my Jackery panel holder sack so that's waterproof. I'm gonna be covering up with that. So pray for me, y'all. Well, the sun is coming up over there and that was my night in the wild. It was pretty buck wild. It rained a few different times. The rats were all upon me, but all in all, it was pretty, pretty okay and pretty fun but it was not easy I definitely understand why we sleep inside now and not outside Whew, congratulations you survived the island how do you feel about the Jackery Jackery was cool I'm beyond impressed with that thing it's not only like to go out and have fun while you're camping and do things like that but in a more practical sense I realistically believe that this thing could replace a gasoline uh, generator or gas power generator. It's about the same, it has about the same footprint as our gas power generator, um, about the same weight. You know, everything's the same there, obviously a little bit if you include the solar panels, but you don't have to keep the extra gasoline on hand to run it. And it's quieter. I actually the other day made a full batch of water just using the, uh, the Jackery 3000 and, um, it was awesome. With your portable rain man. Yeah, with the portable rain man that I have, which is a big, making water is a big a big thing. And yeah. you could make, you know, we made 40 gallons and you could probably do that on a full charge two, two and a half times. So I was really, really impressed with that. And I do think that it could, you know, realistically replace a, a gasoline generator or a, a fossil fuel power generator. So that was really, really cool. Um, beyond impressed with the way that it can handle everything and you know the portability of it's really really fun too you know that just makes it great and with the bundle the solar panels i mean this could have been the power system for almost the whole boat i guarantee it could run the whole boat for sure um you know in a pinch if it was like a hurricane or something like that you could run your refrigerators and stuff like that for a while on it so i was super hyped i liked it i had fun super humbled to be out there living in the woods that was with the little rats that was like a wild time for me, you know, it kind of rained in the middle of the night, but it was really good because I think it kind of put me back on my primal schedule, you know, getting like an hour of sleep here and there and going, oh, rats, oh, rain, you know, it made me be a survivor that I was born to be, you know, wasn't happy about my fish trap. I took that L on that one. I was hoping that was going to work, but I need a little more time on that. And my throat got really scratchy in the middle of the night from... That cactus. cactus, yeah, and I called Kristen and I said, Kristen, come get me. And she said, you on your own, boy. I ain't coming out here. And I said, dang. All right. And I just went. <coughs> but luckily, my ice maker had ran all night. So there was a little bit of ice in there. So I just, because I was out of water. So I just ate the ice chips and it cooled my throat down. And I survived, clearly. All right, guys. And if you want to up your portable power station game, use code SG3000PRO for some massive discounts. The link is in the description below. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye.